let's talk about the tragedy of the commons and the logic behind uh, why it's always going to be rational for people to uh, catch the extra fish, cheat, do the uncooperative thing, even though they know that that's going to end up with everybody being worse off. So remember, uh, we've got a sort of hard limit. It doesn't have to be hard, but let's just assume it is above which if we go, we, you know, do the thing that we shouldn't be doing, then we're going to have a disaster. Uh, we're going to try to keep ourselves below a certain limit. And that leaves a safety margin where some people can uh, cheat or do the non-cooperative thing without there being any bad effects whatsoever. Okay, so to talk about the logic, let's draw it out our little grid, just like we did with the prisoner's dilemma. And remember, there's only two futures that we care about. There's the disaster, which is where we go over the num we go over Z. And there's the case where there's no disaster. So we go over Z here. And we stay under Z. All right. And just to make this easier, let's assume that uh, fish costs, uh, or we can sell for a hundred bucks. And if there's a disaster, the loss for each of us is going to be minus a million dollars. And that just makes it easier for us to compare things. Okay. So there's two different actions that you can take, right? You can catch the extra fish or not catch the extra one. And if you catch the extra one, you're going to be getting a hundred bucks extra. So we're going to add in a hundred and I just say extra to remind us so that we don't forget that in the other case, it's not like they're not getting anything whatsoever. They're just, uh, you know, doing what they normally do. So let's say plus zero extra plus zero extra. And then we need to uh, fill in the disaster. So the disaster is in this column, right? Uh, so here we lose a million. And here we lose a million. And since there's no disaster over here, we're not losing anything. Right. And we can just total these up just so we can now compare it pretty easily. So this one, we have a million minus positive 100. And here we have just positive 100. Here we have minus a million. And here we have plus nothing, or and minus nothing, actually. OK, so now that we can see this, here's the, the basic argument for the logic of why it's rational to keep taking more. So we only have to worry about two possibilities. We don't have to figure out how likely the disaster is or how likely the disaster isn't. We just need to know that either there's going to be a disaster or there's not. So if we're in the world where there's going to be a disaster, right? So we're just considering now this column. And in this situation, well, your options are either losing 909999 you know what this says, and losing a million. Um, a million is, of course, worse than losing that. So the best thing to do is to catch the extra fish. If we are in the future where there is no disaster, so now we're just considering this column, right? The choice is between gaining 100 and gaining zero. So again, the choice to catch the extra fish is better. So no matter which future uh, we're in, we should catch the extra fish. And as the game theorist would say, that means catching the extra fish is uh, strictly dominant. That means you don't have to worry about what other people are doing or what the future is going to be. Um, because no matter what the future is, there's always some, you should always be doing the same thing. And if this is the case, then because you are rational and you came to the conclusion that you should catch the extra fish no matter what, then everyone else around you who's also rational is going to come to the same conclusion. And so that means that everyone's going to catch the extra fish. And that means we are all screwed unless we can, of course, change the payoff structure. And that is the only way out 
Uh, it doesn't help to tell people what's going on. In fact, that might even hurt because now people know, uh, you know, even more clearly what the costs and benefits are. So together we have to figure out a way to get out.